So hi out there in Diamond Painting Land, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Friday, October 4th at approximately 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a little bit of an update. So those of you that have watched some of my videos know that usually on Friday nights, my husband and I usually go out to dinner. Sometimes we go shopping. And one of our favorite things to do is to go up to the Hobby Lobby on the north side of town and go to our favorite Tex-Mex Mexican restaurant. So we did that tonight. And... Um, Two or three weeks ago, when we were last at um, Hobby Lobby, we noticed that they were resetting their diamond dots, diamond painting um, section of their um, line that they carried for diamond dots and diamond painting. And they hadn't gotten all their shipment out yet, so you know they still had a lot of empty spaces. Well, while we were there tonight, I happened to find an end cap with some new diamond dots, diamond paintings including some Christmas ones, and they had also stocked their other in expanded section of their Diamond Dots things. So, I came home tonight, after using a 40% off coupon, I came home tonight with a new Diamond Dots diamond painting. I came home with Snow Friends, I believe is what it's called. Father Snow, excuse me, it's called Father Snow. It is Diamond Dots DD12.017 DD12.017 Diamond Dots it the kit number is right there this is the snow friends this is the snowman under the arch getting mail out of a mailbox so you can see here there is the design area and then the drill area basically you do the arch the snowman the mailbox and the tree So, um, the back of the box has a basic three-image um, three thing on how to diamond paint. Um, it also tells you the kit contents on the box and uh, where it was made. Um, this, is, this, was, um, this has Hobby Lobby at the bottom of it, so that's really cool. Um, Needle Art World is also listed on the back. So, basically, let me go ahead and get my... Um, get my uh, eyes on so I can read this to you. So your kit contains one high quality color printed fabric piece. The fabric size is 58 by 70 or 22.8 inches by 27.6 inches. One diamond dot stylus, one craft tra tray, one wax caddy, and one comfort grip. 5.5 ounces of diamond dots pre-sorted by shade. Complete instructions in various languages. Um, quick and easy to do. Just use the diamond dot stylus to pick up a dot and place it onto the matching square on the sticky print. So we have the diamond dots, Father Snow. All right. So I will come in and um, open this up for you. Yeah, it's taped. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the tape. Um, I had shown you my last diamond dots haul with the uh, mini pillows and the um, exotic peacock um, large diamond painting kit that I got fairly cheap at um, Tuesday morning last week there we go. Um, I still I am waiting to open this one before I send the email to diamond dots to ask them for their four digit code listing for the um, five kits um, I'm hoping this doesn't have to be a sixth kit. I'm hoping this is a newer version. So anyway, we have um, we have what's inside the box. Um, you're not going to be able to see way deep down, but uh, yeah. So you have the canvas that's all packaged up in a nice, nice plastic bag. So here's your canvas, and then make sure I don't turn this off. So the box is now empty. Okay, and then we have our um, Father Snow Diamonds and Tool Kit. This is Hobby Lobby. This also gives the Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby item number for you. This is round. All of Diamond Dots are round. That's Diamond Dots. Um, getting ready to crinkle, so you know you know what to do. So we have in here, we have our 
normal toolkit. I have a purple squishy. That's really cool. The diamond dots tray, the typical um, uh, kind of sort of clear thing, and the gray boat with the funnel, um, and some baggies. Okay, this one doesn't have an inventory sheet with it. So I'm going to have to include this one. Well, this one has the Diamond Dots codes on it. 8150. Yeah, this... So, um, the other kits that I got... Let me find out. Let me just kind of show you this here. So, most Diamond Dots kits, all their colors come on one long string of something. And so, their baggies will have the color on the canvas... A30 is the color the color number on the canvas. And then the four-digit code that follows, this is color number 8406, which you're not going to be able to see this on camera, but this is actually kind of a kind of a mustardy yellow. It's washed really washed out on camera. Um, actually no, it's a very pale pink. I don't it's not gonna come up, but it's a, it, yeah, it's kind of pink. It's a very pale pink. So the four-digit code here, 8406. That is the Diamond Dots four-digit color code. Um, Diamond Dots on all their new kits are putting in the um, four-digit Diamond Dots color code because at some point in time, their goal is, sometime soon, their goal is to be able to offer um, the purchase of Diamond Dots Dots. So you can actually go out there and purchase extra Diamond Dots Dots for your kits. Um, so that is one of their goals going forward here pretty soon. Don't mind the crinkling, I'm just trying to get this back in the bag. So, um, th there is no inventory kit, that inventory sheet that comes with a kit, but they do have the four digits, the four digit diamond dot codes on here. So that is cool. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in here. Um, this I believe is a 30 color kit. We will kind of take a look at the canvas here really quick. Um, but yeah, all the diamond, all the newer Diamond Dots kits come with the four digit Diamond Dots color coding system. Um, it is not a DMC color coding system and I'm not sure how they compare with DMCs. I do think, I do know that somewhere out there in internet land is um, a diamond dots to DMC and vice versa conversion. So you can actually, you know, if you're doing uh, round diamond paintings, you can actually convert your diamond dots to DMC and vice versa. Um, so we we got we have the the bag of drills, which I'm actually going to put back in the box here in a bit. Put those to the side. But here is um, here is the um, diamond dots wrapping on their kids. It says, add some sparkle to your world. That is their um, catchphrase. So we're going to go ahead and dig into this. Alright. Doesn't really have a smell. Um, when you unroll it, inside, so all of diamond dots kits come with the clear, they come with the clear um, covering on them. A lot of people don't like that. I, it doesn't bother me. So here is the diamond dots. So the design size on this is 50 by 62 or 16.7 by 24.4. The fabric size is 58 by 70 or 22.8 by 27.6. So there again you have the thumbnails showing your um, drill area versus your design area. And down here you can see if you look here, there is 35 colors in this kit, and the new legend also has the four-digit diamond dots color um, color number on them. So that's how you can tell you have you have a newer diamond dots kit is if it comes with the four-digit diamond dots color code. So we have the um, the canvas, we have the legend in the lower right corner for this. Okay, that's what I was looking for. And also in the upper left corner up here. But this is the Diamond Dots Father Snow canvas.
He is really cute, you guys. So I will take you, I will show you kind of up close once I get this rolled up. And for reference, this is the diamond, the typical diamond dots, how to diamond, uh, how to dot, dot your diamond dots kits in various languages. There's something like over nine languages that they tell, show you how to diamond dot. These are these come typical in all their big kits. I don't really need how to diamond dot, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in recycling. All right, but as you can see, this is actually a partial because as you can see up here, there is no sticky up here. So the sticky comes in with the arch from the top. So you do the arch, you do the tree over here on this side, then you come down and you do the snowman in the mailbox, and then some of the foliage down at the bottom, like the, um, the pine tree foliage. But he's really cute, you guys. And looking at the drill field, you do have um, some of the colors have basically what would be considered training wheels. But the drill field on this is really, really clear. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this back up. And I can get you, I can show you the canvas more up close and personal. So there you have the drill field. The drill field is nice and clear. And you can see that some of the colors have training wheels. I think some of the reds. Yeah, so if you look in some of the reds, I'm not going to be able to see this. Some of the reds basically have the little training wheels. Um, but not all of not all of them do. Some of them do. Most of them do. Not all of them. Um, it looks like some of the greens are just shaded. Alright. So, there you have it. I have the Father Snow Diamond Dots Diamond Painting. All right, so there's 35 colors. I'm um, not necessarily going to um, count out the colors for you, although I should show you, kind of pull out the colors. Let me get the um, thing back in here and I will actually pull the colors back out for you. Um, just let me get the diamond painting canvas tucked away for further safekeeping put it back in the box because I'm storing all my diamond dot stuff in their boxes. Again, with the crinkling. Sorry, not sorry. Take this out. Well, the diamond dots are actually very nicely packed. Um, they're packed by weight, typically. Ooh, there's some AB drills in here, you guys. There's a lime green AB. Yeah, so there's a lime green, AB, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can kind of see it, lime green, AB, um, so there's some AB in here as well. Um, I don't know if that's the only color AB. It's the only color I really see right now. Um, there might be some of the white. Is the white in AB? Yes, there's white AB drills as well. So there's some white ABs. You can see the shimmery, the really pretty shimmery white ABs. So there's at least two colors of AB drills in this kit. And there's nothing loose that I can see. So I will put my Diamond Dots kit back in with my drills. And there we go. 
So I'm actually not going to show you the quality of the drills because almost all Diamond Dots kits have the same general drill quality. But there you go. There is the Father Snow Diamond Dots drills with um, at least two colors of AB gems. Um, I did get this at Hobby Lobby. It re retails at Hobby Lobby for $49.99. So if you have a 40% off coupon, you might want to use your 40% off coupon like I did tonight and um, pay about 30 bucks for it. So there you go. Father Snow Diamond Dots from Hobby Lobby. Happy diamond painting, everybody. Until next time, take care. Keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Now remember, um, I don't know if you watched my big announcement video the other day that I uploaded. But coming soon, October 15th, I will have a um, 500 subscriber giveaway that also applies to diamond painting people. Um, uh, and cross stitch both. So be sure you're subscribed to my channel on October 15th so I can include you on my big 500 subscriber, 500 YouTube subscriber giveaway. Um, I will also sometime this month be giving away a Diamond Dots kit. I have a Poppy's Diamond Dots kit that I will be giving away. So stay tuned for that. Um, you may have some additional steps to jump through for the Poppy's Diamond Painting um, giveaway. Because I know not everybody wants to, wants to do diamond painting. Some of you are only here for the cross stitching and some of you are only here for diamond painting. So some of you are just here um, and you may not want to enter. But just um, for the 500 subscriber giveaway, there's nothing you need to do to enter. All you need to do is be a subscriber. So if you've been on the fence about subscribing, I encourage you to subscribe before October 15th. Um, other than that, I really don't have a whole lot else. Um, as far as the Poppy Diamond Painting giveaway, um, I will be giving more details on how to enter for that one, um, at, in one of my upcoming videos. So just kind of be watching and, um, I will let you know what to do for that. Um, other than that, everything is going well. I don't really have any diamond painting updates other than new stash for you guys because um, I've been focusing on cross-stitching lately. I've had a couple of projects that I really wanted to get done. So um, I've been focusing on my cross-stitch. Um, I hope to get back to the um, Victoria's Moon um, Dream Wolf um, diamond painting. Uh, since I have to do that for a review for the company, um, I'm hoping to get back to that in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I have a... Uh, diamond painting that I'm converting from a cross stitch pattern from a heaven and earth design um, artist and that's that's coming up very soon because I basically have everything left um, or I basically have everything in stock including my blank canvas and everything like that so be on the lookout for that new video but um, I hate as you can tell I have a hard time saying goodbye but anyway this is this is really my goodbye for this video so take care and until next time Keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And happy diamond painting, and everyone. Get the stash. The Christmas stuff is coming out. So get your Christmas stuff. I don't know if I'll even start this this year before Christmas, but we shall see. Um, anyway, so there you have it. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi out there in Diamond Painting Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Saturday, October 5th at 9.26 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a haul update. Um, my husband and I went to yet another Hobby Lobby today, and we were kind of wandering through the seasonal Halloween section. And as you know, a week or two ago, I found two, or a set of Halloween gemstone art, or not Halloween, but Thanksgiving gemstone art kits with a turkey and a scarecrow. Well, today I found Halloween gemstone art with a kitty and a jack-o'-lantern and a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern as well. So I found two kits. I did get two of them. I will open them up for you just now. Um, and we will kind of dig into these uh, gemstone art kits from Hobby Lobby. This is their um, Halloween Crafts brand. Here's the information for you. And we will hopefully be able to get into this 
soon. Maybe. I can see the bottom packaging, maybe. I guess not. I'm going to have to open it this way for you. Yep. Alright, so we get into it. So, here is your pack of drills. Your drills are labeled in letter order by letters. There are no DMC codes. There's nothing on there. These kits are all little, all round. So, you can see this one um, looks to have um, EFG, AB, maybe it's only CD, EFG. Um, so, I will open up the drills for you. Um... So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has seven colors for you. A white, a purple, a black, a green, two orange colors. It's an orange and a pink. And like another, a, so there's a dark gray, there's a dark gray, and then there's a black. So there's a white, a purple, a gray, a green, an orange, a pink, and a black. Okay, so there's seven colors for you. You get in your kit, you get your typical thing. You get the cheap round boat without any bumps or ridges or anything on it. They're pretty useless as far as um, diamond painting trays go. You get your pat of wax. Your pat of pink wax, mine's just, mine just happens to be stuck and broke against the <clears throat> the white uh, boat. So yeah, mine is actually, you can see it was pressed up against the white boat. But it's just your typical tray pat of pink wax. Um, your little round dish. And a pink diamond painting placer pen with a plastic tip. A lot of people are raving about plastic tips. I may have to give these a try, but this pen is real short. It's a short one because the kit is small. So I will go ahead and put the um, tray and everything back in the bag. I already showed you the colors, and now we will get to the stickers. So you have two stickers. You have the cat, and the pumpkin, who is really, really cute. And as you can see, everything on here is dotted with gemstones. He's really cute. I like the, I like the cat. And then you have just the jack-o'-lantern. So the jack-o'-lantern uses three colors. The cat uses the rest. So, there you go. There's your kit. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this. I'm still trying to frantically get the um, October Hands-On Design Year Celebration cross-stitch piece finished um, before I actually get into diamond painting. These are probably, these Halloween ones are probably going to be quick and easy one-night things. I think I can get all four of them done in one night. My goal is to take two of them to work and pin them up at my cubicle at work for the Halloween holiday. Um... But yeah, so you have your little Halloween kit. So this is the, um, these are the uh, little Halloween ones with your gemstones and everything. You can find these in the seasonal aisle up in the front section of your Hobby Lobby. At least that's where mine are located. Um, so I did find the Halloween ones today. Um, the Hobby Lobby I was at yesterday, I didn't see them. Doesn't mean they don't have them, but I didn't see them. Um, the um, Thanksgiving Day kits, I will remind you. Come on out of there. So this is the Thanksgiving Day kit. You have the turkey and the scarecrow. And it's gemstone art. This is just says fall crafts. Um, these retail, these uh, kits retail for $4.99. I got, um, I had... I think I paid full price for these. No, I didn't. I think these were 40% off. I'd have to look. I know the Halloween ones, all the Halloween stuff was 40% off. So I got these. These retail for $4.99. I got them for 40% off. So they were on sale through today. So um, you might get lucky. The Halloween stuff may still be um, 
still be for sale. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you a little update. I found these mini um, sticker kits at Hobby Lobby. They're gemstone art. Um, this was the Thanksgiving one that I found. Um, I don't. I don't think it was last night. I think it was last week when I found these the um, Thanksgiving ones. So um, yeah, there you go. All right, that's all the updates I have for you tonight. I haven't been working on diamond painting. I've been working on my cross stitch. Um, I will show you that here. Here is my hands-on design year of celebrations for October. Let me put this behind it so you can see it a little easier. So the interesting, the funny, fun thing about this is, so you can see the ghost. The ghost is done in um, glow in the dark white. The eyeballs in October, the white is glow in the dark. And then I used the called for threads for the moon in the tree. And then I took one strand of the glow in the dark threads to um, go over the top of the moon. So actually the ghost, the eyeballs, and the moon are going to glow in the dark to some extent. So I'm really looking forward to having this finishing up on my wall. So I have to finish this little, this little um, motif here. There's another little motif that's similar to this corner down here. And there's this pumpkin. This pumpkin and another little pumpkin next to it that I have to finish. Um, I don't have too much more to go on. Oh, and then I have to finish the, um, the tombstone that the ghost is holding on to. And it says boo. So um, I don't have too much more stitching on this to do. I probably, if I stitch on it... Um, consistently tonight and tomorrow. I could have it finished tomorrow and up on my wall tomorrow night. So that's kind of my goal is to kind of get it done. So anyway, um, I know that was cross stitch related, but uh, I just kind of wanted to come to you with a little bit of a diamond painting update about the um, Halloween kits that you can find at Michael's or rather Hobby Lobby. All right. So take care, everybody. Until the next time, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye now.